channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I'm on Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Saturday, happy Christmas Eve. It is a grocery haul day, even though it's Christmas, and I have a really fun haul for you today. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because we do a grocery haul every Saturday, and I upload five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. Get yourself set up for the new year with personalized macros and calories and one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability and to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things, and don't forget, come join our Facebook group. Lots of amazing things in store in my group for 2023. So let's jump into the grocery haul, what's on my menu for dinners, and what you'll be seeing in the final meal prep of 2022. So here is my grocery haul for the week. This week I went ahead and shopped at Fry's, which is a Kroger store. We did need a whole lot this week, just a few things for the holidays, and then of course for next week's meal prep and dinner. So let me show you what I picked up for the week. First thing are these adorable holiday chips. They are red and green. I'm going to be making the other one of those corn dips that I bought at Sam's Club. It's been at least a month ago. We had them on Halloween. We had it on Halloween and it was really, really good. So I'm going to make a few appetizer things for Troy and I Christmas Eve day. And then my in-laws are coming over Christmas Eve night with pizza. And then we're going to watch Christmas Vacation. So I thought we could do some fun appetizer during the day and these holiday chips they are adorable and then Troy also asked for a refill of his Fritos I can't believe how expensive chips are just groceries in general these were five dollars which seems like a lot for chips but he likes to have these with his Dean's French onion dip and again another great appetizer for Christmas I needed some chicken for my meal prep this is the just bear chicken breast fillets they were pretty pricey too, about $15, but they don't have any, anti any, any antibiotics, which is something I've been really trying to look for in meat, especially with cleaning up my diet in the new year. I also grabbed some ground beef because it was a killer deal. This is a 90-10% and this is a 93-7. And these were really, really good deals. These are organic, grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef. I picked up some macaroni salad for Troy. This was on sale for $3.29. And again, great thing to set out for Christmas Eve. And then eggs. Eggs were $7 a dozen for the really crummy eggs. And these were also $7 a dozen. This is a much better option, a much higher quality egg. And there was a big sign on the cooler that said egg shortage in the U.S. So expect eggs to even get more expensive, but we were almost out, so I grabbed the Happy Egg Organic. And then I did order a spaghetti squash in my Imperfect Foods haul. I am going to insert my Imperfect Foods haul here for you so you can see what I also picked up this week from Imperfect Foods. My Imperfect Foods order is here. I've been ordering every two weeks. I just haven't shared a haul on my channel for a while, so I thought that I would show you what I picked up. I grabbed a few things for Christmas. They always have some really great seasonal things and you can't beat the price of the produce, the meat, and you're preventing food waste. So I love Imperfect Foods. Like I said, we get an order every two weeks. I'll link them down below with free groceries, at least $20 worth of free groceries for you. But this week I decided to pick up some zucchini. We love roasted zucchini. So I'm going to roast up a bunch of vegetables so that I have healthy options on hand. I also grabbed some celery because I've been really liking nut butter and celery. I like it with raisins, you know, like when you were a kid. So I grabbed some more celery. For a fun seasonal thing, I picked up the Tony's Chocoloni. This is their gingerbread bar. So this is milk chocolate gingerbread. It's seasonal. This is literally some of the best chocolate and they always have it at Imperfect Foods for less expensive than the grocery store. In fact, everything from Imperfect Foods is less expensive and it gets delivered to your doorstep. So we're never mad about that. And then I grabbed some more crackers. I've been loving these Simple Mills ones and they have the cracked black pepper, which I love. These are Troy's all time favorite pickles. He loves these sucker punch ones. So if you haven't tried them and you're a pickle fan, he really loves those. Well, hello, Lola. Hey, honey, are you watching? Yeah. I also picked up a spaghetti squash because we love spaghetti squash and I haven't even made any this season. And some apples, that's another thing I've been really into lately is apples in nut butter. It's such a great dessert and apples are a really, really good source of fiber. Everything that has to stay cold is always in an insulated bag with an ice pack 
Everything comes in pristine condition, even in the dead of summer here in Arizona. Picked up some of the Unreal Coconut Chocolates. I love these, and they have nice, clean ingredients. They are just like a Mounds bar. And then I also got these. I thought that these would be fun to either have as like an appetizer one night, or even to have these for the holidays. They are the little pretzel bites. I thought that they'd be fun with like some queso or some cheese sauce. And then I grabbed some spinach because I have really been trying to up my leafy green game because I'm not very good at getting in my leafy greens. So I picked up some spinach. Like I said, they always have really, really good deals on meat. They had their ground chicken on sale. So I picked up a pound of that. And I always order the Imperfect Foods brand of cheese just because it's really good quality and it's way cheaper than the grocery store. It's at least a dollar less per bag. And then I got some smashed avocado. So just like those little avocado cups, I've never had this brand, Freshzilla, but I'm excited about it because I love having these pre-made, ready-to-go avocado cups. And lastly, for a special treat, I grabbed some Wagyu burgers. We can barbecue year-round here, and these are some of the best hamburgers, like hands down the best. And I thought that we could have these as a special treat one night. So that is everything that I picked up from Imperfect Foods. Don't forget that I will link them down below with free groceries for you. It's a great way to save money on groceries and everything gets delivered to your doorstep. And then I decided to get some lunch meat. This is the boar's head lunch meat. This is the ham. I think it was some fancy ham. It is the Smoke Master Black Forest ham. I just decided I wanted some lunch meat just for quick, easy snacks. I like to put a string cheese in here and roll it up for a really high protein, healthy snack. And then I only got one cottage cheese because it has a sell by date of the 23rd, which is in a couple days. So I didn't want to overdo the cottage cheese and then have it go bad. So I did pick one up. Paper plates because we were almost out and I had a coupon. So I grabbed two 48 packs. I also had a coupon for a free cream cheese. I'm never going to be mad about a free cream cheese. So I did the Philadelphia one third less fat. I also needed a ricotta cheese for my lasagna recipe this next week. Stay tuned after the grocery haul for what's on my menu for dinners and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. This was the only ricotta cottage cheese option they had. That was pretty much wiped out as well. Troy had asked for some razors. These are just the Kroger Twin Blade Men's Razors. I did grab some blueberries. I do have some apples and some raspberries, but I eat a lot of fruit. And these were on sale for $2.50, which I thought was a really good deal. And then, no surprise to anyone, my no sugar added bread and butter chips. I'm obsessed with these. These are so incredibly good. And Troy ate most of mine last time, so I needed a refill. I grabbed those pretzel bites in my Imperfect Foods haul, and I'm going to make some beer cheese. So I grabbed the stadium dip. I like to add some beer to it and it gives a really good flavor and texture. And we'll have that as another Christmas Eve appetizer. I needed some more no sugar added barbecue sauce and the sweet and smoky from Baby Ray's is my all time favorite. Can of pineapple chunks. This is for my lunch meal prep. And I mentioned in my way in that a lot of my cookies that were in the freezer are gone because my lovely husband's been eating them. So I'm going to make a peppermint kind of sugar cookie and I needed some dark corn syrup for that. That way we have enough cookies for the holidays. I didn't save a whole lot because it's just me, Troy, and my in-laws, but I definitely want to have some cookies over the holidays. Two gallons of 1% milk for Troy. He's been going through more than a gallon a week, so I grabbed two. And there is also a candy cane shortage. There were literally no candy canes at Fry's except for these. Now, these are some fancy candy canes. I want to say they were like $4 for the box, which is really pricey for candy canes, but I need these for that other cookie that I'm making for the holidays holidays. Plus you guys know peppermint candy canes, totally my vibe. I'm actually really excited to try out these fancy ones. This time I decided to grab the chocolate rice cakes for my rice cake and peanut butter. I've really been liking to have, I've really been liking this before my workout for a fast acting carbs and protein, some fat, and I haven't had the chocolate ones in a hot minute. And that sounded really good. And then lastly, besides what's out in the garage, which is the case of Coors Light and Diet Coke, I grabbed the private selection dupe for the dots pretzels. I have been craving pretzels. I don't know why. So I grabbed the zesty ranch. These I want to say were like 550, which is a little less than dots. Hopefully they're as good as dots. And again, a great appetizer for Christmas Eve. So that is everything that I picked up for the week. Let's jump into dinners and what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. So here's what is on my menu for the week. Obviously we have Christmas, Saturday and Sunday. Monday I'm making spaghetti squash lasagna. You guys will see this recipe in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. Tuesday we'll do leftovers. Wednesday I'm making shepherd's pie. Thursday I'm going to make some 
fish and some veggies and maybe some potatoes. I have some produce I wanna use up in my refrigerator. And then on Friday, we'll do some leftovers as well to finish up everything from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. I'm so excited to meal prep for the final time in 2022. I'm gonna be making some sugar cookie protein overnight oats. Super excited for that. For lunch, I'm doing pineapple barbecue chicken. Also sounds amazing. And then for dessert, I mean, pecan pie bars, absolutely. So stay tuned for Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up for the week, what I'm doing for dinners, what you're seeing in meal prep. We have a really good final week of the year ahead of us. So if you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a big thumbs up. Again, make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on so you never miss a grocery haul or any other video. Make sure you check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Merry Christmas, friends. Merry, Merry Christmas. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Jingle bells ring.